welcome to Deliciously with Ara. Ngayon, magluluto tayo na one of the main noodle dish in Korea, which is our own version of pancit, chapche. So are you ready? Let's start! So as we start making our chapche, ang pinakasikat na Korean noodle dish or akha nga the pancit of Korea, I'll introduce you muna yung mga ingredients na kailangan natin. Of course, the main is our glass noodles or Korean vermicelli, which mabibili natin sa mga groceries. When you buy, mukha siyang ganito na medyo dried na noodle. Gawa siya sa, um, I think it's made out of sweet potato starch. Tapos, ito, ibababat natin sa cold water ng mga kalahating oras to one hour. So, hanggang magiging lalambot siya ng ganito. Binabot ko siya kanina before we started para maging ready tayo magluto. So, before we start off the ingredients, ibabat na muna natin ang ating um, Korean vermicelli noodles or glass noodles. And then, of course, kailangan din natin ng konting karne, ang pork. And of course, this one, which is the um, tenga ng daga or black mushrooms. This is para sa dagdag ng color and texture and flavor as well. Or pwede kayo magdagdag ng ibang klase ng mushrooms or whatever gusto ninyo sa bahay. Pero for the traditional version, pinili ko is the black mushroom or I think tawag dito sa Tagalog is tenga ng daga. And kailangan natin ng mga assorted colors sa ating chapche. Um, sa traditional version, ginagamit namin is spinach. Kasi sa Korea, um, spinach ay napakadaling hanapin at mura lang. Pero alam ko here sa Philippines, medyo um, hindi madaling mahanap ang spinach or medyo may kamahalan ng konti. So, I gave Naglagay ako ng dalawang options, which is our spinach and also our... Pag wala tayong mahanap ng spinach, it's okay. Pwede tayong gumamit ng spring onions. Siguro isang, um, isang hawak ng kamay of our spinach like this or our green onions pag wala kayo nito. And kailangan din natin ng leeks pang paarit to flavor and color, uh, carrots and onions. So before tayo mag-slice, imamarinate muna natin ng ating pork. So una, mag-marinate tayo ng ating pork na gagamitin. Pwede kayo gumamit ng any kinds of pork na meron kayo sa bahay. Can be kasim or pige or any parts. Even liempo, kaso nga lang pag liempo, it's gonna be very oily. So a meaty part would do. Ako kasi sa bahay, meron akong um, medyo sukiyaki cut ang meron ako. But it doesn't matter anong klase. Basta ikakat lang natin siya ng mahaba and manipis. So any kinds of pork na meron kayo sa bahay, Siguro, just lay it, uh, layer it para we can just slice it thinly and mahaba. Pero, uh, any, wag, hindi kailangan na bumili pa ng gantong klase ng pork kasi ito ang ginamit ko. Any kinds, pwede yung whatever kayo meron na tirang mga karne sa ginamit niyo sa adobo, it's okay. So, pang strip cut lang. At tatanggal ko yung medyo um, tabang part. So, itong karne, marinate natin siya muna bago tayo mag-start. So una, magmamarinate tayo ng ating karne. Gamit tayo ng garlic ng konti. Kasi hindi ako mahilig sa mga measuring cups, measuring spoons like this. Actually, although mas maganda na mayroon tayo for exact, if it's for the house, we can just substitute to whatever spoons that you have. Basta uniform spoon ang gagamitin natin throughout. So for the garlic, we'll add around half a teaspoon. Konti lang. Kasi konti lang naman ang ating karne. And just a little bit of pepper. Kasi di ba yung pepper, nagbo-boost up siya ng flavor. And for color, we'll add konting toyo. Just drizzle lang. There, ours. So, i-drizzle lang natin ng konti. And mag add tayo ng konting sesame oil. This is just for the aroma and the um, taste lang. So, konti lang ng ating sesame oil. Iahalo lang natin ang ating mixture. Ipababat lang natin ang ating karne for around couple minutes hanggang ma-ready na yung ating mga ibang ingredients para ma-soak in yung flavor niya. So, isa-set aside po natin ang ating na-marinade na karne. And then, ating yung tenga ng daga na mushroom or black mushroom or whatever mushroom na meron kayo sa bahay, pwede nyo siyang gamitin yung alternative shiitake or inoki or whatsoever. So, um, dahil, di ba, mahaba at manipis yung ating chapche or yung pancit na Korean version, na, um, slice din tayo ng medyo long strips. So, just for like, ganito, of our black mushroom or tenga ng daga na nasook ko sa water, 
for the measurement ng karne tsaka ng ating mushroom, um, just for the uniform sake, if meron kayong mga plastic cup or maliit na baso sa bahay, ito na, ito na lang ang gamitin natin for our basis. For karne, it's around half a cup ng ating baso. And also, same thing ang measurement ng ating mushroom, mga half a cup. So, halos parehas lang sila ng measurement is kalahate, kalahate. And isa-set aside na natin ang ating black mushroom. And ngayon, maghahanda tayo ng ating mga gulay. As we have here our spinach, pero medyo mahirap siya hanapin in the local markets. Kung pero naswerte tayo, it's very good to have our spinach kasi ito ay napaka-masustansyang vegetable. First, tatanggay natin yung ating um, roots the, or the heads ng ating spinach. And ikakat natin siya around 2 inches in length. Uniform ang length natin ng ating spinach. Isa set aside natin ang ating spinach. Hindi naman tayo strict sa length or size, pero mas maganda pag uniform ang sizes ng ating pagkat. Spinach is very good source of vitamins and minerals. So, kung mayroon tayo ma-access na spinach, I would suggest. So, yung spinach ang nakuha ko is around kasing dami ng ating um, vermicelli noodles. Dahil, uh, pag once na mainit, mainitan siya in water or masisteam natin, siguro magiging almost one-tenth na lang ang kanyang dami. Or, as an alternative, kung wala tayong mahanap ng spinach sa market or medyo, na, medyo mahal sa, uh, sa mga groceries and supermarkets, pwede tayo gamit ng alternative which is our spring onions. So, ito rin, linis na natin ng ating, nalinis ko na siya kanina, tanggalin lang ang ulo na may roots and ikakot din natin as around 2 to 3 inches ang length. Four hours. So, whatever na meron kayo mahanap, either kung mahanap ninyo ang spinach or if meron kayong spring onions, you can use as an alternative para sa ating, para sa ating chapte. And ito naman is leeks. Same thing with the leeks. Um, Ika-cut natin almost two to three inches. And then, haba na lang, lengthwise ang ating pag-slice. So, the leeks kasi is nag nagbibigay siya ng extra flavor and is also very good for your health, especially yung white na part. Ito daw, ginagamit sa Korea na bilang as a medicine if you have like respiratory sickness or whatsoever like ubo. Ito ang pinagbibigay na ating mga lola dati. So there we go. We make it around lengthwise, around isang buong leeks. There is nothing as na too much leeks. So, pwede kayo masobra, ma-over ma -over ang paggamit sa leeks and onions dahil ito nga ay napaka-rich sa mga health benefits. So, hum it's not really limited kung gaano karami ang kailangan lang gamitin. Suggested lang ang isang buong leeks pero kung gusto niyo magdagdag or magdoble or triple whatsoever, it's really up to you. At I'm pretty sure ang sarap-sarap pag dami ang ating onions or leeks. So, lengthwise na ng ating haba ng ating leeks. Very, there we go. And, mag-add tayo ng carrots. Ang ating carrots, this is around half a size. Kina, um, kina, hinaf ko lang ang isa pang buong carrots. I-lengthwise ko rin, parang just as the size of our leeks and other vegetables na pa strips lang. So, siguro mas maganda pag um, hindi masyadong makapal or masyadong manipis para may kagat. And pag masyadong mataba, baka mag-stand out siya sa ating chapte. So, dapat medyo uniform size and length of our carrots. This is very good especially dahil, um, as you can see mga ingredients natin, puno-puno siya ng a perfect balance of meat and vegetables. And ngayon, gumamit ako ng isang buong onions na white. This one, isa-slice natin ng half. But if gusto nyo ng, super gusto nyo yung flavor ng onions, you can even have more. Mga one and a half. It does, it's actually really good to have more onions dahil sa mga health benefits nito. So we just slice it. Para maging half rings siya. And, ipaprepare lang natin ang ating onions. There we go. Isa-set aside na natin sa ating um, pag 
gamit mamaya ng chapche for our ingredients. So, habang na-prepare natin na lahat ng ating ingredients, we will do our boiling of our noodles or yung Korean vermicelli. Magpakulo lang tayo ng water. Siguro kalahati lang ng, um, punoy natin ng kalahati ng ating pot. And if yung matigas pa na noodles ang gagamitin natin, it will take so long. Siguro mga almost kalahating oras. So, kailangan magbabat na lang tayo para mabilis lang siya maluto. So, when the water is boiling, yung kanina na babat natin ng vermicelli noodles, dapat medyo magiging soft and um, nag 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 nagbebent na siya ng ganito, i-add natin sa ating hot water or kumukulong tubig. We'll just add it and siguro mag-boil tayo ng around 6 to 7 minutes or hanggang talaga we can taste na lutong-luto yung ating vermicelli noodles. So, we'll just loosen it up ng konti. Di ba yung mga pasta noodles or yung ibang klase ng mga um, ganito, gusto nila natin yung medyo juice, chewy, so mga al dente they say. But for the chapche, we cannot make it al dente. Kailangan talaga as in fully cooked yung ating noodle or else magiging very hard to bite siya. Because it's made out of yung sweet potato starch, kailangan pati yung loob as in buo, it has to be very fully cooked. So kailangan talaga ma-fully cook yung ating glass noodles, mag add tayo ng konting toyo sa ating kumukulong water para mag add siya ng flavor and also yung color sa ating chapche. Just drizzle it siguro mga limang beses or more, whatever you want. It's okay, wag kayo mag-alala sa alat ng gag alat sa soy sauce because the purpose nito is para mag-coat yung ating glass noodles na medyo brownish para pag maluto na siya later on, it will be very pleasant or masarap tingnan. So, mag-drizzle tayo ng toyo and then just cover it up. And hintay natin na maluto siya siguro around 6 to 7 minutes. Dahil medyo hindi tayo aware sa texture ng Korean glass noodles or yung pang chapche, siguro habang um, nagka-half cook na siya, pwede natin siya tikman. There's no such thing as, um, pwede siguro siya ma-overcook ng konti kung talaga na sobrahan ninyo ng mga more than half an hour. Pero, mas maganda na kaysa sa magiging undercooked siya. So, kuha tayo ng konting noodles. And natikman natin kung malambot na siya inside. Oop, medyo mahirap kunin. Just taste it a con Just taste it tayo ng konti. Just to see if maluto na yung ating glass noodles. Dapat soft and chewy siya all inside and out. So, I think luto na yung ating noodles. I-off ko lang yung ating fire. And isa-strain na natin siya para mag, maging ma-ready na siya sa pagluto ng ating chapche. So, i-strain na lang natin siya like this. As you can see, di kasi, di ba nag-drizzle tayo ng toyo kanina in the hot water? So, the glass noodle, medyo, mayroon siya konting brownish color na nag-coat, which is also very good kasi mag a siya ng flavor mamaya. So, na-drain na natin ng ating glass noodles. I-dilipat natin siya sa pot, ating at medyo, let's just put some air para hindi siya masyado dumikit sa isa't isa. So, pag nag-reboil ulit ang ating water, yung kanina pinakuluan natin ng ating noodles, ibablanch natin ang ating spinach. Siguro mga 10 seconds. Map napakabilis lang. So, we'll just put it here. And magbilang tayo ng 1 to 10. So, di ba napakuluan na natin ang ating glass noodles? But if we leave it like this, kasi medyo baka ma-overcook at didikit-dikit siya, kasi medyo sticky ang ating texture, i-cool down ko lang siya sa isang cold water para lang medyo matanggal yung kanyang heat. I-loosen up ko lang yung ating cooked na vermicelli or Korean glass noodles like this. And then, isa-strainer ko lang siya once more. So we will put our nagpalit tayo ng wok and then we'll turn off the fire, turn on the fire at habang hinihintay natin mainit yung ating pan. As we prepare kanina, we will start from the most hardest to cook hanggang pabilis ng pabilis. And the method I'm showing you today is the traditional method kung saan iniisa-isa ang pagluto ng ating ingredients because once we do our sear fry na isa-isa, na ma-maximize natin ang flavor ng bawat ingredients na ma-feel natin sa every bite. So first, we will start with our pork, then after ng pork, our mushroom, then onions, and our vegetables. Basta pinakahuli yung mga um, 
vegetables such as maybe the spring onion. So I think our pot is medyo hot na. I will just drizzle it with konting oil. Konting, konting oil lang. Kasi hindi naman siya um, fry. But just first here, fry ng konti. And we will add our pork na namari natin kanina in soy sauce, sesame oil, and garlic, and pepper. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng all kinds of meat, any kinds of meat. Pero kung hindi kayo mahilig sa mga karne, or gusto nyo yung pura mga vegan options, siguro you can just use more kinds of mushrooms na lang instead na mag-add tayo ng pork. So, Kanina kasi ginamit ko yung sukiyaki kat medyo manipis. Madali lang talaga siya maluto. So we will just maximize the... We will just wait until it's fully cooked ang ating pork. Black mushroom or tenga ng daga. Dahil medyo may oily pa ng konti, I will not add any more oil. At iluluto ko ng konti. Pero for there, mag add tayo ng konting salt for texture. Or, siguro, add na ng konti, konti lang. And, di ba like this, medyo may hear niyo yung mga pagpapop-pop -pop ng sound. Mag-add tayo ng konti tubig. So, medyo nagpapop ang ating mushrooms. I'll just add konti water lang. Kasi ayoko masyadong gumamit ng maraming mantika. And, let's add konti pepper. And konting asin, salt to taste. Just a sprinkle of the salt. There. So yun chapche, actually, very simple talaga siya, pero it's medyo, people think na it's medyo mahirap kasi nga iniisa natin ang bawat um, ingredients sa pagsistir fry. And then next, among the vegetables, ang pinaka-hardest would be our onions and carrots. So, unahin ko na lang is our carrots. So, pag medyo na umi na uminit na ulit ang ating pan, we'll just add our carrots like this. And, konti lang ng salt to taste. Gusto ko yung, gusto ko yung carrots ko na medyo may bite, so I think I'll stop. And... Isa set aside ko lang here on the plate kung saan nilagay ko yung aking mushrooms. And ngayon, mag-add tayo ng, magluluto tayo ng ating onions. The onion, actually, it's really a pun kung gaano karami onions ang gusto ninyo. I used one whole kanina, pero if you want more onions, you can add. Dahil, di ba, yung health benefits ng onion is really, there's, I think, too much health benefits than I could think of na wala. So, Unlimited onion that you want, you can add. And, pag magluto kayo ng onions, you always have to add pepper. Kasi onions plus oil and pepper, nagbo-boost up talaga siya ng flavor ng onion. Here, hindi, ko na, hindi na ako mag-add na salt. Or just konting oil pa, just so may drizzle ng konti. Hanggang maluto ang ating onions. And then, lastly but not the least, I will stir fry yung ating kanina yung kinat natin pa lengthwise na leeks. But, kung wala kayong leeks, it's okay. As long as meron kayong onions, basta may something green. So, pwede kayo gumamit ng leeks or spring onions. So, ito naman, napakabilis lang na talaga maluto. So, medyo luto na yung ating leeks. Ang burnt leeks or medyo lutong leeks, it gives a very rich flavor of this aromatic scent na I'm sure na magugusta ng lahat. And for last, we'll heat up our spring onions. Ito ay isang alternative lang kung wala kayong mahanap na spinach dahil hindi naman talaga mandatory na kailangan both. It's either either or. Kung meron kayong spinach, spinach na lang. Kung wala kayong spinach, kung wala kayong spinach, spring onions ay pwede rin gamitin. Pero ito ay dapat napakabilis lang lutuin din. So, again, optional talaga siya. Either or. And it is stir fry lang natin ng mabilis. We'll just add, sprinkle with konting onion and konting pepper. Okay. 
And habang um, iniiwan ko lang yung ating spring onion sa ating kalderong mainit, I will marinate our, I will show you how to make the sauce for our chapche. So like this, nakikita natin na iniisa-isa ko ang ating pag-stir fry ng ating ingredients for chapche. But, mayroon mas madaling process. This is the one that I was showing you was more of the traditional version na iniisa-isa para ma-fully taste natin ng flavor. Pero kung medyo gusto natin ng medyo madaling paraan, pwede naman isa-isahin na lang sa isang buong pan ang pag-stir fry. Basta sundan nyo na lang ang order ng first is kailangan yung medyo mahirap luto, like pork, then mushroom, then carrots, onions, and so on hanggang magiging isang stir-fried na vegetable na lang siya. Pwede na naman siyang gawin like that pag gusto natin medyo mabilisan. As I, as I said again, this is medyo um, gusto ko lang ipakilala sa inyo ang traditional. Kung may extra time tayo or for extra love na gusto natin gamitin for our family and friends, we can do this. So now we'll do our sauce for our chapche. Actually, ang sauce ng chapche is very simple. Our main ingredient is our toyo, Sugar, sesame oil. That's all you need. So the ratio of this is toyo is four, four sa sesame oil and two sa sugar. So four, four, two. That's the ratio that kailangan niyo tandaan. And I will use our regular spoon that we have in the house for our measurement, para we can just use it as a basis. For the soy sauce, we'll use four. So, so apat na spoons. One. Two, three, very easy lang siya talaga. Four, four of the soy sauce and four naman sa sesame oil. Ang sesame oil, it's a very popular staple sa mga Korean dishes because of this very extra nutty aroma and the flavor and also the health benefits ang dinadala nito. So, four sesame oil as well. So, four spoons. One, two, three, Full na spoon. The reason why uh, nilalagyan ko muna ng mga sauce ng ating noodle is because kanina nung nag-stir fry tayo ng ating vegetables, di ba nasisang natin siya ng konting mga salt and pepper. And gusto ko yung ating noodles ang muna ma-blend fully ang flavor. And this one is dalawa lang. One, brown sugar or washed sugar ang aking ginamit. Two, so i-maximize ko lang. There we go. And then haluin ko lang ang ating Noodle with soy sauce, sugar, and sesame oil. Very madali lang ang ating ratio, di ba? Ngayon, after na mix natin, we can taste our noodle. So, medyo kung gusto nyo na medyo maalat. Kasi di ba ang flavor, everybody, every household, may iba-ibang staple ng flavor. Kung medyo na bland ang pagdating, you can add just more salt if you want. So, I'll just taste it for a... I'll just taste our noodle. Kung tama lang ang anya kanyang taste. So it's a perfect blend already for me. Na my four na soy sauce, four na sesame oil, and two sugar. Ngayon, ya add na natin lahat ng ating mga ingredients kanina na na stir fry. I'll add our pork and also our onions. Yeah, actually, hahaluin din naman, pero iniisa-isa. So, it's just a little bit of kaartehan, but of course, it's because of the flavor of with love, which makes a difference. I'll just add everything and the licks. And kanina, di ba, pinakita ko sa inyo yung spinach and the spring onions. Ito ay option, whether or, or if you if you want na masyadong maraming vegetable, it's okay. Pero dahil for now, I think medyo uh, madoble ang green. Pag ginamit ko lahat, iya half ko lang ang aking spinach. And I'll just use half din ng ating, half din ng ating spring onions. So, kalahati-kalahati lang. Dahil optional naman siya. Or if, you, if gusto ninyo, pwede naman siyang i-all. It doesn't matter. Mas masarap na mas maraming gulay, right? And we'll just toss it in our bowl. And it, ito toss ko lang ng ating mga ingredients na hinalo. In Korea, normally, we have a saying that yung kamay daw ng mother ang nag-change ng flavor. So, I wanna use my hands to mix it up. Pero if you wanna use like fork or chopsticks, pwede rin, pero medyo parang mahirap gamitin eh. So, kamay na lang. There we go. Diba? The flavor of the hands yung nag-boost up daw ng flavor ng lahat. 
And i-separate na natin ng ating uh, mga vegetables na green. So if gusto niyo na mas maraming mushrooms or whatever vegetables that you have in the house, like more carrots or more onions, you can actually add more as what preference and what you have. So haluin natin siya ng mabuti para lahat ng ingredients ay mag evenly spread out. And I think our chapche is almost done. We have this beautiful blend of different colors, different flavors with awesome flavor, with awesome taste. I'm sure na magugusan talaga ng buong family. Tada! This is chapche, one of the most popular noodle dish in Korea. Very easy to make, very one of the most classic methods, but I'm sure um, you can follow throughout my steps and you will truly love it. The taste of Korea in your homes made by yours truly, Ara.